waiting to see if we got on the ferry. Uh, garbage. Katie's calling me like I'm a wayward child. And now the military showed up with drug dogs. Another Cozumel culinary conquest. Ichilequiles. Mapache. We've been trying to recreate it here in Cozumel from memory. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? So on the road back to Cozumel. So the latest excitement, we're waiting to see if we got on the ferry. We didn't get make reservations because they didn't say on the line we had to. So here we sit. We were four from making it on, uh, but they're going to see if they can push everybody on. And I'm crossing my fingers. The next one is 4 a.m. It's 3.30 uh, in the afternoon at the moment. <coughs> Jesus, David gets all choked up on camera. Darn, <laughs> <coughs> popcorn. Popcorn in my throat. What's up, COVID? I'm excited. COVID. Uh, I think we're gonna make it on. I'm optimistic. I'm delusionally optimistic though, so I always think we're gonna make it on the boat. You know what The Rock would say? It doesn't matter what you think. That's right. <laughs> I'm not gonna let Greg talk because he's all depressed. I know oh, you're happy. You're, no, you're I'm, I'm, we'll get on. This is no problem. And if we don't, we're exactly where we're supposed to be at the dump. In Plato Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> Burning a trash. A, a warm trash heap to curl up with for the uh, night. Garbage. Oh, I'm gonna have to help them. You can see how close we are to the ferry. Two vehicles in front of us. Set the second to the last guy to miss every line. <laughs> right. <laughs> but can you imagine all these cars like oh okay go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. You're on! Good job everybody. <laughs> Well played, Kate. Okay. You did a real good job of not stressing. Oh, wait. I am a pessimist. I am shocked. It was 50 50, but it happened. Go that way, we can dive off. Katie's calling me like I'm a wayward child. To her credit, I'm generally a wayward child. Are you looking at my butt? I am. I am. This is a different boat than we were on last time, so we'll get to check a new one out. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this one's way nicer. This is snazzy, huh? Did you guys know that they have uh, restrooms on the boat? Uh, <laughs> we like to turn to Greg for the no shit factor. <laughs> There's only five cars left out there. I actually hope they all get on because it is kind of an interesting system. Kind of sucks to show up and not be able to get on until the next day. If all goes well in two short hours, we'll be back in Cozumel. If all doesn't go well, the engines will die like they've done before and we'll wind up in Cuba. So excitement on the boat. We're still waiting to take off and now the military showed up with drug dogs. Ooh, this could get interesting. And we're like an hour late. Good sight. Yeah, what's a couple hours late between friends? Welcome back to Cozumel. Another awesome part of living in Mexico. We just got three avocados, two mangoes, five bananas, a pineapple, and a cantaloupe for eight dollars. We're off on another Cozumel culinary conquest. Today we're trying Doña Chari's for breakfast. We were sitting at dinner with some of our friends, and they say there's a great breakfast place. So, hey, our friends recommended it. We're gonna try it, and then we'll blame them. It's not very good. No, just kidding. They're sweet. <laughs> I don't even need my glasses to read this menu. Instant plus on this place, everybody else here is low. <laughs> this is a piña, pineapple. That's just like 
taking it and eating it right off the plant. This is really good. That is habanero. I can smell it from here. That smells good. I love it when it rains sideways. Rain flew in sideways. <laughs> Let's rent it. Oh, gracias. Y chilequiles. Gracias, amiga. I got pancakes because for some reason I'm obsessed with them right now. Yes, we switched sides for lighting again. That's huevos. Oh, oh, that's huevos a la mexicana. That's good. Mexican eggs. I like it. It's got um, the jalapenos are a little spicy. That's really good. Okay. Chilequiles rojos. The red has a little bit of spice to it, but they, you can tell that they cook with a little, it has a lot of depth to the flavor. I like these a lot. And now my favorite. I've been obsessed with pancakes since we got here. I love them. Mm, they're really good. They're not overly sweet, and I really like them with the maple syrup. Now let's eat. That place was fantastic. Donya Charles is now on my list of best breakfast places in Cosmos. Next stop, a beach up north. Really cool. The road is completely paved now. Well, we're not going to go over to Passion Island, but we did see a raccoon. Mapache. 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 Well, they're asking ten dollars per person, dollars, to go over to Isla de Pasión. Uh, if we go over there at some point, we'll go over with local friends, which will be significantly cheaper. It's all right up here. Uh, to be totally frank, it's kind of like a garbage dump. It's not. Well, there's. Anyways. I wouldn't want to get in the water right around in there. It kind of smells a little bit, and it doesn't. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely better places in Cozumel to go hang out in the water. But it was nice to see it. I haven't been up here in a long time, and Kate's never been up here. That's true. I'm going to go back to uh, trying not to destroy our car on the road. <laughs> that would be a plus. A couple years ago in Bali, we found a drink we absolutely love. That is scoot. Sip <laughs> some <laughs> Thank you. It's a combination of coconut water, lime juice, and sugar. It's fantastic and it's also refreshing. We've been trying to recreate it here in Cozumel from memory. First, we take a cup that we've been reusing from Starbucks, fill it with coconut water, 50%. And then we take lime juice that has sugar in it, 50%. And because they also had just pure lime, which, whew, that's puckery. We're adding a little bit of that just to give it a little bit more kick. Not much, though. That's fantastic. We call it a Henry Nelson. We call it a Henry Nelson. And we call that a Henry Nelson. When you go to buy these at the fruit stand, ask for agua de coco, agua de limón, and jugo de limón. Don't get these two confused because they will eat the enamel off your feet. I mean, <laughs> but if you're putting it awesome. on your feet, that would be a problem. <laughs> they might. Off your teeth. <laughs> All right, let's drink this deliciousness, you wonderful woman. We have been trying to find this place open forever. These are the best empanadas we've tried. They come in meat, cheese, bean, and potato. My favorite are the potatoes, surprisingly. Ooh, hot, hot. That was real good. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Only eight paces a piece. And you did that wonderfully. I had that rubbing on the bottom of the hand. Sorry. 
first cup a reusable <laughs> and this oh, spilling too keep drinking this coffee <laughs> Make the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>